Good morning everyone, welcome back in my channel. Today we're gonna do something different. I'm gonna show you how to flash a new system of our RG35XXH. This is MUOS 2405 bins. This is completely new custom firmware in our device now. I'm very happy they just making more and more custom firmwares on that device. As we know, it's got good potential and some people probably will choose that one instead of original software. I really like the stock one after these updates is working very good, very nice. But this is another option for the people who want to try. I'm going to show you how to do. First, we're going to flash this system after we're going to jump to our device and I will show you a few just examples how it's working, few different systems, few different games. Also, I'm going to show you teams and how it looks like. Okay, that's it about that. Now we're going to start. First, we go into Muos page and I will put this link on the description, guys. Just download from here, download it from our release build page. Click here, then you go into that release page. We've got this bins version, we have to click it here and the system will download it. As you see, I just download already, that's why it's showing me another copy. Uh, okay, it depends on your speed internet, it's gonna be a few minutes or maybe a little bit longer. As you see guys, we've got downloaded already here. The next step, also guys, link on description for the people who never used it before, just you have to download it. After when you've got this one, you have to use the card with XFAT format. If you got brand new card, it's got always XFAT. I've, I'm using, I'm gonna use now 64 gigabytes. The second card is games cards. I'm gonna use it just original, which one I made for stock firmware because I'm using two card system and everything is absolutely the same. The folders are absolutely the same. This means you're supposed to have a root folder ROMs and inside all this uh, emulators. Okay, next step guys, we're going to Balena open it flash from file that's what i downloaded here click twice then select target it will be our usb card micro sd card sorry select flash yes and now we're gonna wait it's not gonna take long it's quite quick Okay, it's almost flash, done, there will be verification. It's gonna take a few seconds also. It should be success after this. I'm gonna show you guys how it looks my games card for the people who don't know how it's supposed to be folders down there. Okay, one zero job done. Flash complete, everything is done like meant to be. Okay, I will remove that micro SD from my computer. Now I'm gonna plug my games card. Okay, we see it's also called a card as you see. You're supposed to have a, a ROMs folder, this is root folder. Yeah, you go in there, and this is what we've got all emulators folders are inside of course you have to put your roms we come back now to our device that's my system card i put the games card oh sorry i put the games card already because i've got two the same cards i don't want to mix up this will recognize your games cards straight away if you got that folder structure like i've got that will be straight away just plug that in or whatever Turn on device. And we see it's booting up. It's gonna take a while, guys. But the first one we have to do, as you see that information, we need to choose the right device because this is one for RG35XX Plus and RG35XX from this year also. We know we've got H here, just confirm, click A. 
Now you have to choose time zone. Okay, this speed it up here. I'm going on the bottom. Europe, London. Okay, A. We've got today 12. Then time. I will set up proper one. 14, 38. Okay, everything fine. Just B to save. And now it's coming. It's giving out sounds also. Listen this. It's not very quick. We've got also some. Let me just put this down. Some funny text here. I will speed it up video now. You can support these guys for that good job. Just scan the QR code. Uh, it took, guys, it took me five minutes, exactly five minutes. That's how it looks, the basic menu, which one we've got first here, yeah? And what we're gonna do, uh, I will show you. Explore content is that emulators, which one we've got. As you see, SD2 card, that is showing us that SD card, which one I've got here. I put some games on. As you see, everything is... Okay, uh, first I'm going to show you guys teams because we've got uh, quite different teams here. Let me go to uh, configuration, then you've got team picker and you've got few different teams which one you can choose straight away. Beans is quite funny because you've got everything like that. Yeah, it is quite funny. If you like something funny, you can leave it that one. Okay, let's go back to configuration. Maybe something different. Looks like Commodore 64. Uh, quite, quite simple, quite nice. If someone like Commodore 64 will be happy with that. Okay, we we'll go back. Here is the classic one. Very simple. But some people just like to have a simple menu, don't need to have a graphic or something like that. I will leave that one out, yeah? I will put uh, Wi-Fi network first. You have to put X and it's gonna search for internet and you have to put your internet on. I've got now my Wi-Fi. We will try if the portmaster working because they say it's portmaster here now. Application, what well, we've got, portmaster. Oh, it's working nice. Let me see. Ready to run ports. I'm gonna download something. As you know, guys, ready to run is the something which is running straight away without original files. And you can play anything you want from that files, yeah? From that folder, sorry. Any, anything. I will try something easy. Okay, that one, for example. Oh, that's not easy. Okay, something like that, maybe. Okay. Install, click A. As you see, my internet working fine without any problems. Go back with an exit now. And we will go back to explore content. We've got ports. And this game, as you see, are here. 
let me try if it's working have to Some simple game here, it's working absolutely fine. Let me go back. Select start together, we're coming back to uh, to the main menu. I'm very happy about that, the Portmaster working because we can play the games on Portmaster now. That's very nice. And now guys, I'm gonna show you a few different system, one game of each. We'll go to some Dreamcast game. Dreamcast working fine. We're going to another one. A hey boy advance. Some PSP maybe. What we've got here? Mm, something quick. Burnham Dominator. What we've got settings here? We put auto frame skip one. All working smooth, PSP. Maybe some Game Boy Color, Aladdin. Okay, all seems to be fine guys, let me go out, that's just my first impression with that system, I'm happy that uh, Wi-Fi working without problems with 
Portmaster, you can just download the games which one you want on Portmaster. Plus the system which one I show you, it's just few of them, but of course it's much, much more. Yes, for me, it makes no sense to check every single system. As we know, that working absolutely fine. The most demanding PSP, uh, it was okay, as you see. Burnout in 30 FPS, just out of frame skip. I would say everyone have a completely different preferences and you got always some choice, not just one the same. That's why I'm really happy when the community doing so good job with that uh, systems. Thank you very much, guys. This is for today everything and have a great day, guys. See you in the next video then. Thank you very much.